What's new? Dr. Clive Wynn is studying canine fear responses at Wolf Park in Indiana. Hey, how's tricks? He wants to know if the first dogs may have been wolves that never grew up. There are 74 million dogs living in human households. And what do we know about them? How do we know they're not going to turn around and bite us at the next moment? They're all over the place, and we understand very little about them. And you don't have to study dogs for long to realize that if you want to understand the dog, you've really got to understand where the dog comes from. You've got to understand the wolf. Wynn and his students have the rare opportunity to work with newborn wolf pups. Around four weeks, they start to see um, really big movement and very close movement, and they'll start to do things like put their paws out to try to touch stuff and then try to bite it. Everybody's happy for a minute. So right now we're sleeping with them, spending all day with them, 24-7. <laughs> it's in order to get them to form a social bond with humans. Uh, it's a little bit different than with dogs. With dogs, you only need about 90 minutes. Um, and with these guys, they need 24-7 or it just doesn't work. It has to be before three weeks of age or they're too fearful of humans to form that bond. The team is conducting an experiment called the Novel Object Test. We're looking closely at the development of the wolf pup so we can see exactly when the moment comes when curiosity stops and fear sets in. That critical shift separates the dog from the wolf. So each day we take one new object, we place it out a couple of feet in front of the pup, and we just give the pup a chance to react to it. Oh, she's really got the hair now. How these pups react may explain how man and dog came together thousands of years ago. At four weeks, these pups can barely see. And the touch and the smell, that was all fine. That was all positive, that was all fun, that was all interesting. But the sound, we did not like the sound. The sound was a shock. We've got a little bit of a fear response setting in here. Ooh. Sure. Yeah. What we're finding in the wolves is that curiosity dies out already now four or five weeks old. Similar experiments have been done with dogs, and we know that in dogs, curiosity remains the dominant motivation for the first three months of life. This retention of curiosity and other juvenile characteristics into adulthood is known as neoteny. It's seen in almost all domestic animals. So the thing with dogs is that they never quite get to be grown-ups. They never really develop into adult animals. These are adult wolves. These are real, autonomous, independent beings who can go out and catch their own dinner tonight if they want to. The wolves that acted young and fearless longer may have been the ones who first approached Neolithic man. So we have natural selection acting to produce tamer kinds of wolves that become our original dogs. Thousands of years later, people are noticing that some dogs can be useful for different things, and some dogs are cute in different ways. And so we start intervening and actively producing the kinds of dogs we want to see. We have artificial selection now setting in on top of natural selection. <laughs> 